This is my episode of These Pieces. Okay, let me That's go over here. That's Just look at this camera. Oh! <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chinea Ogwemeke, WNBA All-Star and one of the hosts on ESPN. And welcome to my episode of These Pieces. Today, I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things. This is one of my favorite movies growing up, The Sound of Music. Anywho, I'm gonna show you the things that I love the most, the collectibles from basketball to broadcast to my culture, my heritage. We're gonna start with my good luck charms. And they are my monkeys, y'all. Hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. You know, obviously I'm first generation Nigerian American, born and raised. When I went back to Nigeria, when I was studying abroad at Stanford University, I found my little good luck charms. They come with me every new home, every new space, and every TV shot. So if you look in the background, that is an Easter egg just for you. When I went back to Cote d'Ivoire on a sports diplomacy trip, I found these warrior women. You can see their shields, and I love the different colors. This is my new take on good luck charms. Just sort of like every decade, I guess, I sort of pick something up. Moving on to my next item. So in 2014, I was drafted into the WNBA. And everyone knows we were not playing for the paychecks. We were playing for the love of the game and the legacy. So my first few years in the league, I was stacking my bread. But finally, I think it was about five years in, I was like, you know what? You deserve to splurge. And so the first item I got was a Chanel bag. If you see me walking around LA, Houston, the H, my home, anywhere, I typically have this on me. Let's dive into my broadcasting life. One of the mementos that I always keep is our credentials from events. I've got a whole bunch here. This is the WNBA Finals, USA Basketball, when my sisters and I were trying to compete for Team Nigeria in one of these camps and clinics. I've got the NBA Finals in 2024. This is this year's credential. Oh, NBA All-Star Tech Summit 2022. This was very, very important to me because I was on stage with all the movers and shakers like Masai Ujiri, Adam Silver, a lot of people that really have changed the game for not just basketball here in the US, but globally. They just remind me of like how far I've come as a broadcaster and they're cool. Moving on to my next item. It's tiny, it's a mini basketball, it's super cute. And it is the basketball with all of the autographs from the WNBA All-Star Game, my last All-Star Game in 2018. I'm someone who has dealt with injuries in my career and I fought back. It means a lot because it meant that I didn't quit. It's a special memento. Next, this is the 1,000 point commemorative basketball for my time with the Connecticut Sun. I played after that for the Los Angeles Sparks and I moved in such a hurry because I'm always working, but I didn't get this until like a year ago. They're like, hey, Janae, you wanna clean out the closet? And we saw your point balls like, what? <laughs> and they shipped it over. All right, it's time to go up to my office where all the magic happens. Follow me. Welcome to my office. This next piece is the absolute showstopper of my house. It is this carpet. It was gifted by the Federal Capital Territory Administration when I last went to Nigeria to celebrate sport, celebrate the power of women, empower young girls to play, and this is what we were gifted with. Honestly, it's just gorgeous. Now, mind you, it is not um, fully styled in my house, but I just had to keep it out there just to remind myself why I do what I do. All right, moving on to my next item. These shoes were a collaboration between Adidas and ESPN to celebrate SportsCenter and the brand. You know, your girl loves some bling, so it's got gold encrusted Adidas logo, ESPN logo, and you can even see the SportsCenter top 10 branding. Literally my world's merging. So I'm an Adidas athlete, and I also work on SportsCenter quite a bit. That was actually my first full-time role at ESPN, an NBA analyst on SportsCenter back in 2018. Everyone at ESPN got them, but your girl got it first because it's family. This is the Kobe Bryant Memorial t-shirt. This was so special because these were only given to those who attended Kobe's memorial in person. And so I cherish this t-shirt. Everyone that I know that went still protects this t-shirt at all costs. It's just a part of LA culture. And I'm just so fortunate to really remember that day because it was a celebration of life and the greatness of Kobe Bryant, even though it was hard at the time, but this just reminds me to strive for greatness in everything that I do. 
All right, my final item really just reminds me of how far I've come, literally from high school. My McDonald's All-American game flag. And so in 2010, I was the number one player coming out of high school, an All-American. And this was one of the first uh, experiences that I had playing with the best of the best, where we felt like we were gonna change the world. And now life gives you bumps, bruises, winding roads along the way, but I'm really proud of how far I've come. And this reminds me of how big my dreams were coming out of high school and how I'm actually living out my dreams in real life. Some people collect credentials, some collect cars, but your collection doesn't need to come from a press career to be worth protecting. No matter how you collect your pieces, you can give them the coverage they need through GEICO. All right, that's a wrap. Those are all of my precious pieces. Thank you so much for hanging with me on this episode. I've already got to head back to studio, but I will see you on TV or on the court very soon.